Uh, what does the water symbolize in this film? Where? At the end. Toward life. It's kind of like renewal. 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 Wash. Why did they not show Jesus' face? Maybe because nobody really knows exactly what it looks like, so they didn't want to, like, mm-hmm. yeah, you, like, have an image of him if it wasn't exactly. Why were Judah and Esther not afraid to touch his mother and sister? Because they didn't really care anymore. Like, there's so much bad stuff going on, they just wanted their family. Second half. What happened to Judah and Mithala's friendship? Mm-hmm. Say that again. What happened to Judah and Mithala's friendship? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was... Judo's against everything that Masala was for, pretty much, like violence and stuff. When Masala kind of pushed for a minor be my friend, or I'm going to kill you. Pretty much. At the, at the end, uh, when uh, Judah goes to see, I think it's Pontius Pilate, doesn't he say some something that it wasn't even Masala, right? It was Rome that destroyed yeah. Masala. Yeah. Kind I of you could see when he died, he didn't really want vengeance at that point anymore and realized it was wrong. Yeah. Does anybody disagree with Dylan though that Masala was sorry at the end before he died? Oh no, I mean oh. Judah seemed like he was sorry oh, for I what see. happened. Yeah, before. okay, gotcha. Yeah. Because he said he doesn't see an enemy. Yeah. Masala kept saying though like the race isn't over. Yeah. Like he kept saying that. What does that quote mean the race isn't over? Because his parents were still alive. Race, think about those words, the race isn't over. It's interesting words, aren't, aren't they? Just the race isn't over. Yeah. It's really Even though they got it, it's kind of fun. We still are trying to do that. And in their relationship too, right? Masala's like saying, I'm not giving up, I'm dying. I, you made a, you might have killed me, basically, but I, it's not over. Why didn't Masala send Judah's mom and sister to the dungeon? So they were lepers. Oh. No, that was the first place. Oh, oh, which dungeon? Oh, I guess. Because he really wanted to punish Judah. He really wanted to punish Judah. And that was really getting him. And to kind of show everybody else, too, that don't mess with him. They can even take the prince of the Jews. And their children, yeah. kind of, in a way, right? The mother and the daughter. It's like, watch out. Children are too messy. Okay. Why was the painting in the overture at the beginning? What the scene when it was budget or why? Why was it there? The scene because it's like the scene when you do that. Breathing through this water, and God is touching man, or God's reaching out, changing his life. Is that split second? Yeah. Or, or, all that in the painting is that God reaching out, man's kind of like, not really sure. Because we don't want to share it. Beat the fact of Jesus being on earth and like trying to help everyone, but yet God said that other people aren't sure about God, so the Romans killed him. Yeah. Is that still true today? Do you think that God is still trying? I mean, if you're a Christian and religious and stuff, that, that God is still reaching out to the people, but the people aren't always sure or they can't quite do it or the sin is there or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Um, why were Judas' horses white? It's kind of like good. Yeah, white symbol, good, black, bad. And then, look, just coincidence that like they were the only two that were clothed in like any color, really. 
Yeah, and everyone else, they stood Judah, had, Judah had blue, and everyone else had like grays and like yeah. And then with Solomon's was was chariot black. was red. Yeah, getting back to the same colors that you Was that just a stamp? So you know who was who? <laughs> Why didn't Judah choose to wear his helmet in the chariot race? Maybe he's trying to show strength. Yeah. 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 Or like, I'm not afraid of you. Or like, wearing your helmet's a, kind of like... Maybe it was a heat box. Yeah. Or as like, yeah. Maybe, maybe that like, rep <laughs> Judah's weakness or something. Like, or he just didn't down. care if he fell off and died at that point. I don't think that. Maybe it is. I think that is. He, he was at, it was either him or Masala leaving the arena. Yeah, he really went all or nothing. Yeah. yeah. I think he didn't believe that he was going to like crash or anything. Or if he did, he did. You guys he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, was really he was at peace with himself and he said, and JT said, <laughs> I mean, he was at peace with where he was. So. And like Dylan said, one of them was not. He was the same. Why was Judah and in the bowl? Why was Judah and Jay in the bowl? What? Why was Judah and Jay in the bowl? Because he would be a valuable slave if like something bad happened. They wanted him ready to go. That guy really wanted to raise chariots. <laughs> I saw something in him. He was like, he saw the hate. Why did Judah save the counselor? Save himself. He didn't have to save himself, though, right? I mean, he, I mean, he didn't have to save the counselor. Yeah, but that saved himself. It did. I don't think he thought ahead. I don't think he saved him because he thought he was a nice guy. I think he saved him because the counselor <laughs> saved him. So. Did, you just return Did Sputnik have anything to do with this movie? Yeah. Yep. Sputnik itself? Probably not, but the overall. The fear of what the world is coming to and how rapidly it's going to People are just fearful of the future. The whole movie was kind of about like a race between. Don't forget your faith and all sorts. Yeah, I kind of remember too that communists were always looked upon as being atheists, right? And so this is a very religious film in many respects, right? The whole one side of it is. I mean, yes. So kind of that conflict between even the religious versus the anti-religious, just like the Romans believed in, you know, Caesar, where Judah believed in a god, so. Yeah. They're set, do they come out and say anything about that? What's that? Anything about what? The relation to Spud and Pila. Like the movie? They don't, no, I don't think they really say that. It's, again, just thinking about what is the director's message and why in 1959 does this come out um, when it could have come out way before because it was a book, that kind of thing. Um, and I think it goes back to what Josh was saying, the fear of people. I mean, people were really fearful, so how does this help the fear for people, though? How does this film help fear? Well, Judah wasn't afraid of her. He wasn't afraid of getting killed. He wasn't afraid of being left or seen. He was wasn't afraid of being crucified. That's true. And don't forget your faith. Okay, faith and fear, okay. Um, why didn't they have the top part on the cross when he was first dragging it? Oh, yeah, because it was kind of like a P. It wasn't. Even at the end, they didn't have like the, the top part of the cross. Oh, they didn't have a sign yeah. on it. Yeah, but that was only on one. That was on Jesus. That was on but it wasn't there when he was carrying it. And there's so still, even with that sign, there's still a sign. Because the guy in front of him was carrying the sign. That sign, when he's hung, was put on top. Yeah, but even so the top part, the guy walking in front of him. The no, I know. But there's still I thought there wasn't the top, the top part, part of the cross. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. At the end, there wasn't. At the, no. Yeah, at the end there was, at the end, but it wasn't the top, like, wooden part, it was just yeah, that little sign. And there's normally, like, the wooden, like, a metal sign. Yeah. 
Like, was that showing where, like, well, I don't Judah know, like, and... Maybe that's the crosses you see today were not, like... Yeah, maybe it wasn't was like actually... Like, pieces like of that. trees. Right. It's not like it was... They said they did a lot of squares. research to make it really accurately factual for that time period. So it probably was just a tea. Was it kind of, like, at the beginning where, like, Judah and Musala threw spears at the, like, little cross thing? See if we get closer to the middle. Is it something to do with like that? Or it could be just because the resources were so like primitive back then that it didn't actually look the way we think it looked. Yeah. Because they probably didn't put much work into what someone's supposed to be carrying. They didn't care if it looked. Yeah.